Good e good evening. Afternoon is also fine. Okay, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna talk about just streams. Okay. I think you guys probably already know streams. Okay, it's like uh, uh, like uh, if we watch videos, okay, on YouTube or we are doing some gaming, okay, we play games. The data won't be ready at once like when we play videos right suppose this uh, movie is uh, uh, 100 gigabyte obviously when we are watching online it won't download the one one 100 gigabytes then uh, play okay what we what they did is it will download a little bit, then play play for you, and download a uh, download another uh, a little bit, then play for you. So, uh, stream is used when the collection of data isn't isn't ready at once. Uh, and uh, another case is uh, suppose the file is very very huge, huge, large, so it cannot fit in the memory at once in this case we can using the uh, stream okay it's like uh, we watch video we watch movie and play games and uh, for the stream it has uh, four types four types of uh, streams uh, four types and the first one is a readable stream Readable stream, um, it, it like uh, if we want to uh, read a file, we're using file.create. Uh, this is the global module, okay, in node create uh, re, re, read stream. And that's uh, now when we have read, we mu must have a write, writable file system write uh oh sorry create write file system dot create write stream there's another one is uh, duplex duplex is like a socket okay and here if we take a look at uh, with the HTTP response and the HTTP request that response they are a pair right when we make a request HTTP request response when the HTTP request on the client side on the client side what it is it's act as a readable stream right Oh, sorry, writable. Client here, I mean the browser, okay? And when HTTP response on the client, it's a read, uh, readable, right? Because once the server give us the response, the browser, which is the client here, gonna read the information from the response, then display, right? But the HTTP request response on the server side, HTTP request on the server side is uh, readable. Because when we submit a form, the form information is in the HTTP request body if it's a post, right? If it's a gate, it's going to be on the URL. And on the server side, we're going to read from HTTP request, right? And uh, on the server side, uh, for the response is the writable stream, right? Which means uh, uh, when we want to send something back to the browser, back to the client, we will put the information on the response. So this is uh, uh, this is the duplicates like a socket, okay? And the uh, last one we have is a transform. The one is uh, suppose now I have a txt file. I want to convert it to be a .zip file or .gzip, okay? What you can do, there's a <coughs> Also, a module called Zlib. You can also use a Zlib to create, create a gzip, and which you can use to transfer this text file into a zip file. 
So this is the four types of stream which is available inside the, the knowledge is readable, writable, duplex, and transform. And uh, for my next video, I'm gonna show you uh, how to using that like, uh, readable, how to using writable, and uh, also how to use the transform. And duplicates is when we create HTTP uh, the server, then it's gonna using the duplex uh, stream. Okay. Thank you for watching this video, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.